So Diane Abbott pulled no punches and released a statement in which she eviscerated Starmer and the Labour Party. The internal Labour Party disciplinary against me is fraudulent. I was told by the chief whip to actively engage with an investigation, but the Labour whips are no longer involved. It is now run entirely out of the Labour HQ, which reports to Keir Starmer, and there is no investigation. This is the same Keir Starmer who almost immediately pronounced my guilt publicly. This completely undermines any idea that there is fairness or any natural justice. It is procedurally improper. To be clear, I immediately and unreservedly apologised for my letter. Others have committed far more grave offences, and belated or grudging apologies have been wrung from them, yet they have been immediately excused as supporters of this leadership. The Labour Party has not charged me with anti-Semitism because they know it is untrue. As someone who has fought all forms of racism all my life, I would consider it a very serious allegation. Instead, it has been used to smear me, my reputation, and decades of anti-racist work. I am the longest serving black MP, yet there is a widespread sentiment that as a black woman and someone on the left of the Labour Party, that I would not get a fair hearing from this Labour leadership. Now, the full statement is on her Twitter. There will be a link in the description if you wish to read it in full. I think this is incredibly brave, honest, and she in no way tried to be diplomatic, which is good for her. It really means something when a Labour MP just plainly lays out everything we've discussed on the left and on this channel without sugarcoating it. Yes, Diane's letter in The Observer was really bad, but I think we all know she was trying to explain the hierarchy of racism in a really clumsy way, but she has apologised twice now. And given the fact that she is the longest serving black MP, the first woman black MP, and the racial abuse she has been subjected to her whole life, including inside the Labour Party, then she deserves respect. I do think the initial investigation was procedurally the right thing to do, but after two apologies, she should be let back into the fold. I don't think she's anti-Semitic, and I genuinely believe that. And I don't think that Labour or the leadership thinks she is either. Yet Labour have tried to stop the attacks from the press in regards to anti-Semitism by pretending to have a zero tolerance approach. Now I say pretending because they don't have a zero tolerance approach on anti-Semitism. What Keir Starmer is aware of is that the media only cares about anti-Semitism when it can be used to attack the left, which coincidentally works very well with Starmer's goal, which is to destroy the left. This channel has covered it many times before where people on the Labour right or those who are more sympathetic to Keir Starmer have made anti-Semitic remarks or jokes, yet zero tolerance didn't apply to them. Simple half-assed apologies and they're let back in. That's something the media doesn't care about, yet if it can be linked to the left, well, it's wall-to-wall -wall coverage. I think Diane knows she's going to be expelled. I doubt she would have made this statement otherwise. Now, for a political party that is over 100 years old, a party that seeks to govern, really bad, but they don't have processes that are fit for purpose. Now, I don't know the quality of their investigation system, but the point here is that due process is only applied sometimes or selectively. If it's against the left of the party, well, you know it's going to be a stitch up. This is worrying. Labour will most likely be in charge of the state, yet it feels it can bend the rules at will for certain people. How do you think they're governed? Will everyone be treated equally? Will certain people get a slap on the wrist? Because that's how they work right now. So whatever your views of Diane Abbott, we should all support a fair process. But when your goal as leader of the Labour Party for the last three years has been to marginalise and kick out the left, do you think you care about rules and fairness? In Diane's instance, it's not just about factionalism, but it's anti-black racism too. We saw from the Labour leaks the racist, misogynistic, vile comments directed at her. We know when it comes to online abuse, Diane has faced more abuse than every single MP combined. So given this context, to turn around and try to expel a black woman is frankly racist. If Labour cared about anti-black racism, they would have provided her with support. I've never heard Keir Starmer speak out publicly in support of Diane Abbott. In order to fight racism, I think it's important to have those in positions of power that represent marginalised communities. Now, Diane Abbott couldn't be a better representative. She knows what it's like to receive racial views. She's fought racism her whole life. She is a person that Labour need if they are truly to represent people who look like her or those who have been on the end of disgusting abuse. But regardless of the outcome, what's incredibly clear is that Labour under Keir Starmer is a racist hellhole.